Welcome back to our special episode of Holy Land Uncovered on location outside of Jerusalem. We're now joined by Ron Ishai, the former ambassador to Kazakhstan and also a, a scholar and an overall very interesting young man. Hello and Hag Sameach and thank you for joining us. Hag Sameach and thank you for defining me young. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. My spouse. We're, young in, we're young in spirit. <laughs> so explain the meaning. I know you spent a lot of years uh, in in Kazakhstan, explain. I guess that's an interesting uh, 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 metaphor to to Sukkot and the meaning of Sukkot to Absolutely. be abroad, celebrating Sukkot in a country you know that is mainly Muslim. Correct. That's correct. Why why was that a profound experience for you in your years there? Because it's it's very interesting and and it's very uh, specific for Sukkot because uh, the Kazakh people, as a nomad people, uh, the the <clears throat> hospitality for them is a sacred value because it, probably because it was related to survival mm -hmm. when you wander in the desert in the steppe which is like a desert but only minus 40 degrees uh, celsius uh, below really? zero that's correct so hospitality is is a matter of survival and for kazakh for the kazakh people and by the way we the jews are 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 very closely related to that because they saved a lot of jewish lives uh, during the second world war when ma many Jews, hundreds of thousands, and not to say more, were evacuated from, uh, from the western parts of the Soviet Union to Asia, to Central Asia, around 100,000 were coming to uh, or arrived to Kazakhstan. And they, they, they um, told me that, uh, I mean, you know, the elders of the community, that Kazakh, the Kazakh people had nothing. They had nothing. Very poor nation at the time. And they said the nothing that they had, they shared with us, which is something that is very rare. It's, an, it's a country, it's a nation, a people without any sense of anti-Semitism. They are open to everything. They host everybody. And there is a Kazakh here, there is a Kazakh expression that when a, when a guest arrives the tent, it's like uh, God arrived the tent. He is the most important person. He gets the best seat. He gets the best food and other things. So Sukkot, which is a which is a, a hug, a holiday of of uh, hosting people, is very very uh, I would say in a in a in a unique way related to the place that wow. I served in. You also wrote a very an indelible article called Before Balfour. Um, I know you relate kind of uh, these important situations Balfour comparing to what King Cyrus did you know in the sixth century That's correct. BCE explain the significance why it's still relevant today and what it has to do with Sukkot well first of all we're in Jerusalem and Sukkot was one of the uh, three times in a year that when all the people came to Jerusalem in pilgrimage as written in the Torah and Jerusalem is the one place that kept in my view that kept the Jew Jewish people uh, together united for 2,000 years when we were all isolated and separated and distributed all over the world. We prayed for Jerusalem. We looked at Jerusalem as the common place for all of us. And Dona Gratia Mendes, Dona Gratia Nasi, one of the most in influential ladies mm. uh, among Jews and others uh, in history, tried to buy Jerusalem from the Ottoman Sultan and to establish here a Jewish colony to become later in a the Jewish 16th home. century. In the 16th century, yes. Later she got only Tiberius, but she was the first Zionist to uh, try and re-establish the Jewish people back in the land of Israel. Now, uh, so, and this, this is part of the article, actually, the, and Herzl based his, uh, his attempt vis-a-vis -vis the Sultan, uh, the, the, the Ottoman Sultan, on the license, on the lease uh, that Dona Grazia received 400 years earlier. So this, I think, uh, c contains the whole story. So, um, yes, Doña Gracia, for sure, a very, very interesting woman that uh, did a lot. And it's great that, that, her, that her memory is also being included in, uh, in your work. So thank you very much for joining us and for all your incredible work and dedication to the history of Jerusalem. Thank you very much. Chag Sameach and Mar Chatima Tova. Toda Rabah.